Hi everyone, I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, uh, what action they might be taking towards you. I'm going to be doing my zodiac, uh, my monthly zodiac readings later this week as well. I know a lot of you have new love coming in. That's been a collective energy I've been getting for you guys is, is breaking old patterns and manifesting someone who's not your usual type, you know, manifesting your life partner finally and letting go of the old toxic connections. It's like you learn those karmic lessons and you're moving on from them now and you're finally manifesting your true love and they're trying to manifest you as well. Um, I do realize though that some of you still want to know about the ex, you know, some of you are still holding on to somebody and you guys do want to know what they're feeling, if they're going to come back around, if they're going to see the light and start appreciating you finally. So on my channel, I'm going to be reading both stories for you guys. I'm going to be reading the old person's energy for those of you that are still wanting that connection to come back around. And then I'm also going to be reading the, um, the energy of this, this new love that's coming in for, for the majority of you. And, you know, please um, talk to me too. Let me know what's going on in your lives. You know, let me know if you prefer to hear about the old person, the, um, the ex, or if you prefer to hear about, you know, this new love that's coming in, or if you want to hear about both, just, just, you know, comment below, please. And let me know, because the more you guys communicate, the more, um, quality content I'm going to give you, you know, I need to know what you guys are, are wanting to see on this channel. It will help me give you the best readings I can give you. So, so please, please comment below and, um, yeah. Here we go. So let's see. So I'm going to look into, for this reading, I'm just going to look into the old person. Um, you know, the new person might come up. Who knows? The cards just kind of say what they want to say. But but let's see. I think this is going to be, who's coming back around? That's what I want to know. Especially with Mercury in retrograde right now. I mean, the post-shadow phase of, Metro, of Mercury retrograde can be pretty powerful too. So, you know, if you're thinking about your ex or you're hearing it from someone out of the blue, that could be Mercury retrograde energy that we're in right now. We're getting close to the end of it, luckily, but yeah. So who's coming back around for you? Who's thinking about you? Who's wanting you right now? What is the energy right now? Yeah, we got <laughs> X, the past, fast moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events, reconciliation, choosing a path, and nostalgia and longing, betrayal, conflict and jealousy sorry fair i'm gonna have to move you hesitation and mixed feelings third party energy karmic partner for some of you this is a third party situation you're in for others i feel like maybe this person is a karmic partner and it's like there's kind of just a lesson to learn here like you haven't let go of them but your intuition is telling you that you should um, but I do see them coming back around. It, it might just be for closure, though, for some of you. But this ex is coming in quick. I think that they've been thinking about you. They've been feeling alone. They've been missing you. Because we have ex, the past, and we have fast-moving energy, like sudden turn of events. Like you just, you know, check your Facebook or your, you get a call from them or you, a message from them just out of nowhere, and it kind of just shocks you. Like you're not expecting this energy to come in. So this person that's coming back around, I think there's somebody, I wish I could give you guys a happier reading, but I feel like this person that, want, that wants to come back around is somebody who betrayed you. Maybe somebody who was controlling, might have had some jealousy issues, or maybe they made you jealous because they had a third party going on. There's some kind of negativity or conflict. It's kind of like the grass is always greener on the other side of the fence kind of energy. Like they are going to come back around. Like I think you've been trying to manifest this reconciliation. But then when they come back around, you have to choose a path. And I think that you've, and that's where that grass is always greener on the other side kind of energy comes in, where I think that you've been nostalgic and you've been longing for, th for them. But look, this is like, a, like she's touching a man made of stone. She's touching something. Then we got like a skull in the background. It's like a metaphor for a situation that's kind of just dead, kind of just not, not what it used to be. Um, and I think you just idolize the relationship. Maybe they left you or ghosted you or hurt you in some way. And I think that just that loss and that pain kind of blinded you. Like, I think when you guys were together, you saw the red flags. You knew that there was something off. You knew that there was probably other people that you could be happier with. But, you know, when they left, it's like the heart wants what it can't have. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy. It's like... 
when they left or when they ghosted you or whatever they did, I think that you kind of idealize the relationship. You ignore all the red flags. You're like, no, really, we were happy together. Everything was great, you know, and you're ignoring all the pain and all the trauma that this person put you through. You know, you're ignoring the betrayal and the jealousy and the conflict. Um, I think you're already kind of cutting this relationship out, but I think when it really comes back around, you're going to have to choose a path. Um, and there might be some hesitancy and mixed feelings here. For those of you, I think this is like a, a very, there's a very strong third party energy here is what I'm getting from this reading. And I'm kind of feeling like, maybe they're not ready for you but they miss you and so they're just going to come back around even though they're not really prepared for it like because this could be the karma there could be i think there's two different stories here so for some of you for those of you where it's not like a, a third party situation where it's just somebody who kind of just betrayed you and and hurt you it's like they're coming back around but i think when they come back around you're going to realize that you were idolizing the relationship after they left because the heart wants what it can't have and you're going to realize, you know, you're going to be face to face with those red flags and you're going to be like, you know what, I should have just gone through the pain and let this person go and manifested someone better. It's like you're not wanting to be alone. So you're holding on to this stagnant situation, even though you kind of know you don't want it deep down. You just don't want to deal with the loneliness and they're familiar to you. Um for the second story here, for those of you that are in a third party situation, I think that your person is nostalgic for you. They're missing you. They're wanting to reconcile with you. And I think the karmic is going to get really jealous. And I think the karmic is kind of keeping his or her um, claws tied into your person, you know, that's like the hesitancy mixed feelings. It's like your person is kind of afraid of the karmic and their drama. They might have something like they're, they have the, their kids or there's something that they're just holding over their head. Some reason why they feel like they just can't leave. You know, she, she or he is trying to control your person and they're, they're kind of able to do it. But I think that, especially with the Mercury retrograde energy, your person is just going to miss you so much and be so nostalgic for you that I think they might just reach out anyway. Um, but then there's going to be more conflict with the karmic. There's going to be more drama. Um, they might not tell you the karmic is still in their life. That's another thing. They might lie to you and kind of pretend like it's over when it's not. Uh, that's kind of a risk, too. Let me see. What else can we get on this situation? Confusion, uncertainty, cold, guarded, distrusting, and hidden truth. What is the hidden truth? Can we get one clarification card for the hidden truth? Spying. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I think because spying to me in this context kind of means someone that's not ready. Like they're still in love with you. They're still missing you. They're still wanting you. And so they're probably stalking your social media or they're probably asking mutual friends about you. But if the karmic's around, they're kind of trying to downplay it and just... Like they're trying to sneak around and talk to you behind the karmic's back and they're thinking about you and they're, you know, looking at your, your Facebook or your Instagram or whatever social media you're on or they're, they're trying to find ways to connect with you and to feel your energy and to see what's going on with you. Um, but they're, they're doing it behind the karmic's back. They're kind of trying to keep it a secret from the, kar from the karmic to avoid the drama. Um, I do feel like you are the person they want to be with, but there's something that's just keeping them tied down to the karmic. There's a lot of confusion and uncertainty here because there's like this cold, guarded, distrusting type energy. And it's like they're just kind of trapped, you know, and there's this hidden truth. So I think the hidden truth is that they still love you. Maybe they told you they didn't or they told you to move on, but they I think they, they do have feelings deep down soon. Um, but they're having to put this mask on in front of the karmic so that they can avoid drama. They're having to put on a show for the karmic. They're having to, they can't really be themselves with the karmic. They're, they're trying to be a certain type of person with the karmic, um, to avoid the drama. So they're kind of having to change who they are to make the karmic happy. And they don't like that. They just want to be able to be themselves. Um, so yeah, I think the hidden truth is their feelings for you. I think the hidden truth here is that they're spying on you, that they're watching you, that they are wanting to know what's going on with you and how you're doing and how you feel even if they're not 
physically verbally saying it they are they are still curious about you they are still missing you um i think the other other hidden truth is that they might message you but they're going to be hiding it and doing it behind the karmic's back and they might be lying to you about it and saying that he or she is out of the picture when they're actually still talking to this person or still living with this person or whatever the situation might be so there might be some lies here that are coming in so you really need to I mean, I know you love this person, but you really need to be logical and, and you have need to have that logical emotional balance when this person comes back around. Like, do you really want this again? Do you want someone? Because if he cheats on her or she cheats on him or, or how, whatever the situation is, you know, it could be male, male or female, female too, whatever it is, you know, if, they che if they're willing to cheat on them, they're also going to be willing to cheat on you eventually too, you know? You have to consider that. Like, a cheater is a cheater. Um, so yeah, the feelings are still there. You might get some communication coming in, but you really need to sit, don't get too excited when the communication comes in. You know what I mean? Like, don't ignore the red flags. Like really, I think you guys are in denial and I think you guys need to pull yourselves back and, and take a closer look at things and really think about how it honestly was when you guys were together is it really, was it really as happy and, and beautiful and loving as you're making it out to be? Or does absence just make the heart grow fonder? You know what I mean? Like, I think that there's a lot of red flags and there's a lot of unhappiness there on both sides that you kind of are ignoring. There's a lot of stuff that they did that you're kind of just swept under the rug. Like you knew, like in your body and your soul and your heart, your mind, it just, it felt wrong. Whatever they did, just mistreatment neglect ghosting whatever it might have been it's like it felt wrong but you didn't want to be alone and you wanted to help them and you wanted to be there for them so it was hard for you to let go of them but you really need to stop and be honest with yourself about what the relationship was really like because i don't think it's as happy as you're you're making it out to be you know what i mean so i think you need to really acknowledge the red flags that are finally um you know, all the, the truths that you've been kind of ignoring. You, you need to be honest about those truths. You need to be honest with yourself about this connection because you don't want to stay with in a, in a situation that's stagnant. You don't want to stay stuck in this energy. Um, you know, the choice is yours, of course. It's, it's your life. It's your choice. I just, I feel this coming back around, but I feel more drama for you when it does come back around. I think you've been trying to manifest that, but when I think it, when it does actually finally come back around, I think that you're, you're going to kind of regret it. You're going to, you're going to kind of wish that you had just gone through the pain and cut them out and manifested someone new, even if it does mean that you have to go through a period of loneliness until you get to that point, you know, because you do want to end those old patterns. You don't want to tolerate neglect and ghosting. You want to get yourself to a point where you just don't allow this kind of energy in your life, you know, where you you want someone who's ready for you. You want someone who's going to love you. You want someone who's going to make you their make you their everything, you know. You don't want someone who's entertaining other men or other women on the side. Um, just my opinion, but but yeah, that that's where that's where this energy is at. Um, you know, keep in mind a lot of you for the for the the collective zodiac readings I've been doing. I'm going to do some more later this week too for the um, beginning of November. Um, I'll probably do them right before the first or the second, but you know, I, I keep channeling new people coming in. So you do have new love here. Like you don't have to, you're not going to be, you don't, you're not going to necessarily be alone if you let go of this, you know what I mean? Like you can let go of this, you can cut and clear these patterns out, you can work on yourself and you can set stronger boundaries and be with a better quality person, someone who's actually going to love you and put you first and make you happy and you know not have all this drama and all this this fear of commitment and this ghosting and all the bullshit that came with this person like you can have new love you can you can have the kind of romance and love that you dreamed of that you really want deep down you know i feel like i feel like you felt alone with this person i feel like when you guys were together there was this part of you that was like oh like i want something else you know what i mean and that's you picking up on your true love your soulmate or your twin flame it's you you channeling this other person that's going to make you happier so you decide do you want the past back you choose your path do you want that do you want do you want to stay stuck in these same cycles these same karmic cycles with this person or do you man want to make you do you want to you know go through this go through the tower moments go through the loneliness go go through the pain and the healing process and manifest someone 
who's going to love you a million times better than this person did. You know, the, the choice is yours, but, but that's where we're at right now. Um, if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe to me. And I also do paid private readings. My contact info is below. It's 444 right now. So angelic guidance, angelic um, protection around you. Maybe if you felt alone or you felt like you're not safe, your angels are reminding you that they are by your side and that everything is working out for your highest good. So thank you for watching.